When the Money Disappears. <laughs> anyway, that's the title. That's the topic of today's Daily Dose. Well, if you're checking out the stock market, it is in free fall. It closed below 30,000 this week. People's savings, retirement, they're disappearing. I know I'm feeling the pinch. Uh, the price of gas is out of control crazy, nearly $6 per gallon here in Arizona. Of course, food prices are skyrocketing as a result of that. The interest rates are going up, up, up at a record pace. And, and people are actually now in peril of, of losing their homes. Rental rates are off the charts. Let's just say it like it is. Leadership in Washington, our, our president and his cabinet in particular, and also the spending bills that have been passed by Congress, th these things are crippling us, and real people are hurting as a result. So what should we do when we start feeling financial pain? Well, I guess it depends on where you put your trust and, and where we put our hope. Look, if our trust is in our 401k, then we're probably panicking right now. Am I right? If, if our hope is in our, is in our pocketbook, right? If that's it, then we're probably struggling with some anxiety and maybe even all out fear. So money, it's a relevant topic these days. And the crazy inflation and economic woes, they're a reminder that the stuff of this life, of this world, it's all fleeting. We can't take it with us. And as we're seeing in these economic times, it can also disappear right before our eyes. We're learning firsthand, even right now, that putting our hope in our finances is like building our lives on sinking sand. And I'm here to remind us that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, He is our only hope. He's our only security in these times, in all times. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 through 21, Jesus says this, He says, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust nor the government, anyway, destroys or where thieves, the government, do not break in and steal. And then Jesus ends it by saying, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. What do we do when the money disappears? So look, if your hope is in the money, then you're going to lose your hope when your money disappears. But if your hope is in Jesus, then your hope can never be taken from you. You see, when Jesus and not money is our only hope, we can weather the economic storms of this life and we can actually walk through them with joy and with peace because our security hasn't gone anywhere. Jesus is still here. He has not changed. Sure, the storms are raging, but we are those who have peace in the midst of of these storms because we're in the boat with Jesus and we have to fully embrace this though we have to fully embrace the the perspective described really think about it in that old hymn that says that my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus blood and righteousness amen our hope as Christians our hope is in Jesus and Jesus alone. God's Word says this, says, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. That's Hebrews 13, 5. Here's what this means. If we have Jesus, then we have all we need. Our hope is secure. Remember Psalm 23? It says that, that Jesus, that God is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. God is our shepherd. And because God is our shepherd, no matter what's going on around us, we're, we're not panicking. We're not in a state of, of, of worrying about losing. You see, money's going to come and go, but God will never leave us. He is faithful. So in the meantime, here's my encouragement. Show generosity to one another. 
like it says in Galatians 6.10. It says, therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Hey, to my Evident Life Church family, we're here for one another. We're all in this together. And I believe that this time, this moment in history, will prove to be a strengthening time for the church and an opportunity for revival in our land. So, again, I urge you, in addition to showing generosity, I also want to encourage you, most importantly, to share the gospel of Jesus. After all, this is the real rescue. This is the real bailout that every person needs. More than economic problems, this world has a sin problem. And Jesus is the only answer. Remember, this is love, as it says in Scripture. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for what? For our sins, 1 John 4.10. God bless you and keep your hope in Christ alone.